Sometimes I think of the tech news as being like a little ball of sunshine that I can hold any time I want. It's, it's like that baby face in the sky from Teletubbies. <laughs> in my tummy. After Valve released a repair guide for the Steam Deck gaming handheld that was very clear about telling you not to attempt repairs, the company has announced a new partnership with iFixit. You fix it? We all fix it. The company that's all about repairs, so I'm, I'm already confused. The partnership will see iFixit sell authentic replacement parts for the Steam Deck for those who want to directly go against Valve's wishes. iFixit also posted a teardown of the deck console itself on their website, showcasing how to do everything Valve said not to do. Turns out the process is pretty straightforward, except for removing the L-shaped battery. If you do that, Valve will be extra upset. You're a loser. <laughs> this is just really hard news for someone like me to read. I take advice at face value. When James tells me to do something, you Nintendo has announced they are closing down the eShop for the company's Wii U and 3DS consoles, making it impossible to purchase any digital games for those platforms. There's so many letters in that sentence. <laughs> the more the better. Alphabet soup. The shutdown will occur in late March, and understandably, many retro game fans are not happy about this, given that many games made for those consoles are still unavailable to buy literally anywhere else. And Nintendo has this really annoying habit of cracking down on alternative ways to source and play their games. Hey, I bought a Wii U! There's dozens of us! Get out of here! Interestingly, Nintendo seemed to anticipate this reaction and posted a really defensive sounding Q&A entry before deleting it that imagined a user asking, hey, doesn't Nintendo have an obligation to preserve its classic games by continually making them available for purchase? To which Nintendo replies basically, LOL, no, buy our other games. No, you can buy them, they just, you buy them again for full price. Yeah, once we remaster them and release them on the Switch Two. successor. And great news for Disney adults, David. Grown up princesses. <laughs> Disney is building a special utopia just for you. Disney adult sounds like. <laughs> it's a thing. That's right, Pop Culture the Company has announced master planned communities under the Story Living brand, which will see Disney's theme parks division creating pristine, family friendly towns complete with Disney staff that will incorporate storytelling somehow. Like you live here. The first community called Catino will be built near Palm Springs with resort style housing complexes, villas, condos, and a grand oasis with clear turquoise waters thanks to Disney's Crystal Lagoons technology. So dystopian. I know, that's why it's, it's exactly dystopian, but this isn't actually the first time Disney has tried this. Celebration Florida was built in 1996 and its buildings are now dilapidated with leaks and mold. That was before they owned Star Wars and Marvel though. This is gonna be completely different. The people who live there will be weird. Don't trust the We promise you this. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by HelloFresh, the meal delivery service that's gonna give you some extra help with hitting those New Year's resolution goals. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. But HelloFresh creates perfectly delicious step-by-step -step recipes every week, including low-carb, fit, and wholesome options, and veggie ones too. Each delivery's got fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and recycled content packaging, so you can eat healthier and more sustainably at the same time. Get tasty meals from HelloFresh delivered right to your door by going to hellofresh.com and use the code TECHLINKED16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. That's hellofresh.com promo code TECHLINKED16 in case you forgot already. The quick bits are here, so now we have to do what they say. Do not make eye contact. Microsoft has released some major updates to Windows 11 with the Insider build getting new touch gestures, start menu folders, and live captions. But even more exciting, the Consumer build now has support for Android apps via the Amazon App Store. Amazon App Store. What are you for? <laughs> I can't wait to play. Absolutely nothing. Oh, I see. I can't wait to play all my Amazon App Store games that I play on my phone, but on my PC now. I don't. I don't do that. Do you do? Does anyone? Amazon? Raise a glass to AMD because this week the company's market valuation surpassed Intel's for the first time ever. That's largely thanks to Team Red's $35 billion acquisition of Xilinx, which was recently completed. But don't sleep on Intel, who's reportedly looking to acquire Tower Semiconductor for $5.4 billion. It's a lot less, but I think how it works is whoever buys the most companies wins, right? So sh I should get an AMD chip in my PC, because they bought- And a GPU while you're at it, why not? Throw it in there, it's easy as that. If a screenshot on the internet is to be trusted, and they usually are, 
The recently announced game Nintendo Switch Sports may support AMD's image-enhancing Fidelity FX Super Resolution technology, even though the Switch runs on a Tegra processor made by NVIDIA. <gasps> <laughs> It shouldn't be surprising, actually. AMD has been very intentional about making a lot of their tech open source, but still, if this screenshot comes true, NVIDIA would have to live with the fact that AMD made their hardware perform better. That's so embarrassing. Help when you didn't want it. What are you, little bitch? <laughs> Microsoft has pulled a Facebook and will be requiring users of the Altspace VR social app, which it acquired some time ago, to log in with a Microsoft account. They're also removing all open social hubs, which reportedly enabled inappropriate behavior and harassment due to the lack of moderation. Dang, sounds like real life, where I harass James Daly. No! <laughs> Thankfully, allowing Microsoft and Facebook to moderate all of our metaverse experiences will make us so much more safe. Thanks, guys. And an Android developer going by K-Dragon has managed to tweak the virtualization feature in the Android 13 developer beta to run both Windows 11 and Linux on a Pixel 6. And yes, he did successfully run Doom, as is tradition. Is tradition. Mm. Unfortunately, Android 13 doesn't support nested virtualization, so you can't use Windows 11's Android app support to run Android apps in Windows on an Android. Oh. I know, which again, I don't, I don't know why, but... But I do know why you would come back here on Friday. More tech news. The tech news will never let you down. It will always be there for you and make you happy. <laughs> I don't know what that is.